So, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while since since this. With new setting, new new everything, and we'll we'll get to what you might have heard. That's that's gonna be the end. This this yeah that this that all of that. So a friend has rejuvenated a little bit, regenerate even, mm -hmm. again, this, that, that, uh, a little bit of spirit in me. Um, so we're going to thank Mr. Redbeard for making me want to do this again a little bit, and that's why we're going to do this, but we're doing this on a much more informal setting. I would say there's going to be less gimmicks, but <laughs> who am I kidding? That's not going to, that's not going to change. But Essentially, what I want to do is I want to take a little bit of your time to just discuss a few things. I'm going to keep it very informal. Uh, we're just going to shoot from the hip. So, uh, what you might have heard right at the top um, was the end credits for this current season of Doctor Who. And... And I want to, uh, oh, I was going to maybe do it at the end. I want this to be short. I want this to be like 10, 15 minutes tops. I don't want to waste your time. I just want to discuss some things, some video game things, some comic convention things, and then the Dark 2 thing. But since we're already on it, let's start with that. Uh, Sunday, it is, it's Friday today as I'm recording this. And on Sunday, we had the season finale of Doctor Who, and I have just been busy slash didn't care, which is weird because all of these, this, this, and other stuff, I, I'm still a huge fan, but this season's been, been something else. This season makes me envy people that liked Firefly and got to watch it end gracefully at one season, and like, well, all right. I don't want to get... We're, we'll start with the simple part before we get into anything else. The writing's just bad. Like, the only things that have kind of made the writing... They've tried to bring in other characters back. Like, the Daleks, Cybermen. Um, if you didn't see it four or five episodes ago, we got the teaser. The, not even a teaser, I guess. A tease, sure. With Captain Jack Harkness, played by... As I said, there's going to be gimmicks. Oh, I had to get it ready. Played by Mr. John Barrowman, who still still gets credit of one of my favorite photos at a convention, because that is just weird. Oh, Brian Hurst. I thought it was it fell out of the binder. Uh, thank you, Russ. That was his idea about the binder for all the photos, but that's conventions. We'll talk conventions later. Um... We had that one episode this season that gave us that snippet of Captain Jack Harkness. And then what he told the companions, not even the doctor, she they didn't even meet. That was the weirdest part. The advice that he gave, she ignored. But even then, like they set up something that they ignored for about two or three episodes. And then when they kind of brought it back, it was just... I don't know. This season's been very, very trying. <laughs> and this episode in particular, this, they kind of, hang on, Lucas, I need your help. All right, you ready, Lucas? All right, that's Lucas telling you we don't do spoilers, but we're about to do some spoilers. They essentially tried to rewrite a lot of the history of what we know about the Time Lords, I'm going to be very... I'm, I'm not going to spoil it too much because you, you saw what he said. He said we don't do spoilers. But they're trying to rewrite some of it. And um, the last, like, <laughs> 10 seconds is directly copying what David Tennant's doctor is most... Uh, I told you I don't do gimmicks. Didn't I? No. A uh, new gimmicks. What? Oh, I look like such a turd in that photo. This is this is the editing that we do. Look at this editing. It's like it's put up here, but not there. 
But Mr. Tennant's uh, one of what he is most known for as the Doctor. They really, really just copied that and didn't deliver it as well. I've said this multiple times. Um, no disrespect in any way to Jodie Whittaker. She is doing a pretty good job with the crappy writing that she's given. Like, her as a Doctor? Not bad. I wish they had writers from past seasons to really, like give her better material and I don't it'll be interesting where they where they go because oh here's a here's the smallest spoiler that is only a spoiler if you know Rick and Morty the ending of this episode is pretty much kind of copied something from Rick and Morty which is really weird but hey maybe uh maybe she'll get out of it the same way so I don't know as I said, this, this season, this season, the last season, the New Year's specials instead of Christmas specials have all been very, very hard on the brain. And this, I, I still have my, my love for the original Doctors and, or not the original, I guess I haven't seen much of the original stuff, sorry. But the newer stuff, because, yeah. And, and, oh yeah, Rick and Morty too. We love Rick and Morty, and I hope Morty loves me. But, um, I'm getting off topic. I just, I... I still love it if I go to a convention, and this is going to be a segue, that Jodie Whittaker's at. I would gladly meet her. It'd be cool. I got a spot. Let's see. Twist the wrist around here. 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we have a spot. We could easily put a 13. It's like I saved that spot. Weird. But, yeah. I don't know. Doctor Who's been kind of weird. So, um, hi Negan. We're gonna we're gonna transition into conventions now. We're gonna talk just a little bit of convention news. Um, so there's a virus going around called the coronavirus. I wish I had a corona to. Actually, I don't think I've ever had a corona. I don't think I have. But you know that'd be cool product placement, sponsored by nobody because nobody sponsors us, um, or me. <laughs> there is no us. Shh. Um. Conventions. Uh, I just want to say this one brief thing. Watching my buddy's video, he definitely talked a lot about it. Uh, that the consoles might be getting delayed. A uh, whole bunch of other stuff with this nasty virus that's going around. But here in the States, uh, Washington State in particular, is suffering. They are the only, or not the only state, there's I think one death reported, unfortunately, some sad news, in uh, California. But Washington State is hitting it hard with the corona to the point where a lot of these conventions are coming and going, taking time. One of the big five, uh, Emerald City Comic Con, it's supposed to happen next, no, this month, March. It's not. It's actually going to get delayed to maybe this summer, but don't know because Emerald City is held in Seattle. And, oh, I'm going to readjust here. And Seattle uh, is in Washington, and Washington's got some problems. So, thinking about it from that aspect, like, oh, fun story too. But uh, I've gone to a lot of conventions, and that is, it's it's a breeding ground for a virus to spread. I could see why this is the smart decision. Um, it's it's just it's everywhere. You wait in lines. There's just people. Oh, for the freaking flood for tenant, just that whole group, that's you, and then everybody. So, yeah, and honestly, like I've met a couple of people that um, they won't shake hands, or uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't have a photo with him because I only did uh, the picture, which oh, I wish I had it up because it's my favorite photo, and it's in the other room, and this is all one big thing, so I'm not going to get it. It'll be maybe next time. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, I got to meet him and get my favorite photo signed. And, uh, he had sanitizer at his table, and that made sense. He was, I, I, it's like, from, from the talent, from, from their point of view, yeah. This is a big deal, like, a chew, hi! <laughs> and, like, there's jokes about people at conventions, don't wear deodorant and shit like that. That was before the virus, so, I can imagine it's only gonna get worse. Um, with that fun story, I wanna tell you a quick little story, cause, you know, news stories, me, expressing myself um i went to a local convention here uh falcon falcon i think it was falcon 
I don't know. It was yeah, it had to be. And I donned my Vote for Vader costume for the first time. A suit. We had the nice suit on. We had the Darth Vader mask. We had the buttons. You know, it was just kind of kind of a spoofy political thing. Uh, it's a full helmet, and it's breathing a lot. I don't know if I was already getting something. This was a couple years ago, so it's not Corona. Uh, I don't know what I got. I don't know if it was from somebody else there, if it was something else. I've probably never been sicker in my life in a long time. Like, that one sucked. That was not fun. And it was a smaller convention, too. It's just held here at the state fairgrounds, so... Not even the... It's in one of the buildings, but... Where do I live? I live here. It's that way. It's that way. A couple miles, I think. Roseville's that way. Um, but yeah, it's just... is it is it weird, so... I, I can clearly see why this should be taken seriously. Yeah. There's some Last of Us music that you can't hear because it's probably too quiet. I'm just turning off the PS4 in the background. That was queued up just because it's funny to me. Um, God, I want The Last of Us too. Uh, but yeah, like, conventions can just be, like, this environment for just problems. And we don't want that. So, finally... Uh, we talked Doctor Who. There's a finger. We talked uh, conventions. We're going to talk one last thing. We're going to talk a little bit of Resident Evil. I'm going to walk away, but I'm still going to keep talking to you. So don't worry. Actually, I'm probably not going to keep talking. I'm going to stop talking for a little bit because, I don't know. I only needed a couple seconds to go get what I needed. We're going to talk a little Resident Evil in the last three minutes we have. So, Resident Evil 2. Probably... Of everything that came out last year. Probably my game of the year. It was so good last year. Like, just how they redid. Resident Evil 2 was the game. It was. I had to think. I had to do a little mental list there. You saw the sparks flying. Um, I really had to think, like, it was the game that got me into zombies. Not Resident Evil 1. I actually played the second one before I ever played the first one. Borrowed it from a brother's friend. And... The original back in the day, and then this one, just this, the reimagining of it, is so good. So good. But, uh, where we're getting with all this, for a little lighthearted news, after some sad news, virus news, is Resident Evil 3. The remake that's getting this same treatment is coming out in a month? April? Uh, yeah, I can't be more excited for that. It's, just looks so good. It looks just as pretty. Nemesis. Yep. Um, I hated Mr. X. I'm going to hate Nemesis even more. Uh, especially there was an article I read, and uh, again, Mr. Redbeard, Admiral Redbeard himself, talked about it. That it just, he apparently can come into safe rooms. I've heard, I've read two different things. Saying, kind of like, he can. There, there'll be some areas that, you know, hmm, he won't come into. But there'll be other rooms. Oh, you, you can save in here. Huh? No, he can come in. He can bust through the wall and... Ruin your day. Um, one of the developers, I think, even did like an article saying, it's like, oh, you'll know because music, you know, don't always think you're safe. And like the thing with Mr. X in Resident Evil 2 is he couldn't go anywhere. Like, well, no, he could go everywhere, but safe rooms. Safe rooms, the clock tower room, a handful of rooms, you were safe. And he's a bitch. So, uh, but yeah, there, uh, oh, this is, see, when we do it this way, my brain just flows and. I kind of, I like it. It's given me a little spirit because I can just roll with my thoughts. I can do a little prep work, but I don't need to put all the flashies. I don't need, it's not, I don't need that to be my thing. Um, if I had a green screen though, I would use it because, again, Redbeard, I'll plug you all you want. For the few people that may or may not watch this, and I'll even maybe try to throw something in the bottom. Um, like, he's got a green screen, he's doing it well. Bam. I'm doing this very, very low tech here, trying to just chill and look nice. So, I got my own beard. It's not red though. You can call me Brown Beard. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's just stick with uh, Dan on paper. We're, we're good with that. But uh, um, I drift away. Uh, there's a demo. That's where I was trying to get with all this. There's going to be a demo for Resident Evil Three. I don't know when. I'll be checking every Tuesday until they tell me otherwise, because every Tuesday 
the PlayStation Store updates and I go looking for stuff. So, can't wait for that. I've heard it's probably going to be shorter. Because Resident Evil 2, they gave you that... <laughs> gave you that... Oops. That, nope. Gave you that one-shot demo. Um, which apparently, you're like, oh, you, you get this much time. Oh, you beat it. Oh, you don't get to play it again. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but it was still fun, and I enjoyed it. And they didn't show off Mr. X in the demo. So it'll be interesting if this demo is going to be more showing off the controls. Which, cool, she's got that new sidestep parry thing. Or if they give us... Maybe, uh, I could see them giving us just that right at the end of Nemesis, demo over. So, yeah. That's all I got right now. I'm at about 16 minutes, so, you know, that's good. I don't want to take too much of your time. I, um, yeah. I'll waste your time right here, just in thought. You can stare at me while I think, but, you know, hey, <laughs> you do you. I do me. Until uh, next time, I am going to hopefully try to do more stuff because it was nice. It was he, he said a lot of things. It's just, you know, I miss this. I do. I miss, I miss our time. I miss this. I miss us. I miss you. I miss all of you. It's like the four of you, two of you. Two of you for sure. Maybe three. I don't know. <laughs> but either way, I got to go. Uh, I'll try to make this a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Until next time, you know, as I said before, as I say again, do all these, do all those things and more. Hit those buttons that don't actually exist, like underneath the actual video. I'm Dan on paper, and we'll move on. Until then.